Everyone needs to watch this video. Having a mom and even worse, having a sister. That's messed up. Damn. I'm... Oh. Damn, that's fucked up. His his mother died at a young age, bro. Damn, he lost his mother at a young age, bro. That's messed up. Damn, that's cold. I don't know why this made me a Loki guy about to tear up. Not gonna lie. Like, that is dirty, bro. It really, it really, really must be sad when some, when a good mother be you know dying, and a kid lose their mother at a very young age. That's that's really messed up. I need for a kiss, mom. I just want an Oscar. I never celebrate them. I never know it was my birthday. Happy birthday. So when the song started and his mom appeared with that glowing tribute, Abraham was overwhelmed. When I see the cake, I thought that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The birthday cake. It's not just a birthday cake. It's a blessing cake. Oh, wait, he's adopted. I'm assuming he's adopted. What's going on? Like, is he a, so I'm assuming he's adopted. He got adopted by a family. Really? Are you like, going to miss your mom? No. No? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry. oh, he's crying. Like he's crying about it. A mom and even worse, having a sister. It's actually a green flag when a man has morals and principles to protect and love his family, especially his mother. Are men and women equal? Actually, women are better than men. What do men bring to the world? Literally nothing. You're literally nothing without us. I know you guys ain't talking. Second, uh, we bring success, generational wealth. We we bring unconditional love. We risk our life for everybody. At least the real men do. Us real men do. We put in hours, uh, 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 beyond hours at night, working at night shift, working at jobs, regular jobs. Some of us become millionaires too. Like we we put in work. There, there's a lot of rich men than women. If you really think about, it. we put in way more work than you want, and you wonder why we get paid more. It's because we work more. We put in the work more. That's really it. Like we put in, the, we put in more blood, sweat, and tears working. I'm sorry. I know, man with good heart never win. I'd rather lose. <laughs> Every single one of you ladies want a man like Superman, but you fail to realize that you walk past Clark Kent every single, every single day. time. 60% okay. of men from 18 to 20. You know, it's, it's funny because, you know, I heard this from a video, but I'm going to say it now. It was years ago. I seen this as a kid. A woman will walk past their future husband. Never give him a thought, never even talk to him, never show love or none of that shit. And then they want to come back all of a sudden when we get rich or something good happened to us. They don't think about us. They be messing with them damn fuck boys. I, it, it really, it that shit really used to make me mad because back in high school, I was wondering why these, these popular girls are messing with these guys that are a-holes, like that are assholes, right? And I realized now that I realize that those females are that's before, you know, I, I actually grew up and realized because I'm 23 now. When I was a kid back then, I was, you know, in love. You know, every kid has a crush, you know, high school crush and all. And I had a crush on this female that I liked, that I had a crush on, that I seen her as, you know, my girlfriend. But I never had a girlfriend. She she was never mine. She was the streets. But anyways, uh. All these crushes that we have as a kid, most of them are thoughts. And not only that, when I when I say when I woke up and realized a lot of these females are low quality women, the ones that messes with the low quality men, the one that messes with fuck boys, 
and you see and you and you ask why why do women date the assholes it's because that woman is a low quality woman she's not a high value woman even if she got good features she's not a high value woman i just want to let y'all know you're not missing out on nothing and the only reason why they're not dating you is because they think not only reason why they're not messing with us is because they are not good people to mess with. They don't deserve us. That's that's all it is. And then they create this nice guy finish last uh, trend little term. It's only because they don't make time for us. They don't really care about us. And then they think where we are going to wait for them when they really mess up in life. And, they, and then they expect us to wait for them to crawl back like don't do none of that do not wait on nobody don't wait on nobody's time everybody that support me following me build yourself up focus on yourself accomplish your dreams i don't care how long it takes don't focus on no bitch don't wait on nobody don't ever chase nobody don't ever chase nobody nine they're, it's not even like they want to date anymore. They're single and they're not looking. So we're dealing with a very small pool of men, which means we need to be wise. But I don't think, I'm sorry, but I don't think any of y'all know how men work. Because the way that I'm hearing you guys talk, it's like two different worlds. From our perspective, it makes a lot of sense. But we have Brian here, we have the cameraman. Men operate on a completely different spectrum when it comes to relationships. And not only do they not know how men operate and think, they don't even bother to care. Oh, put yourself in my shoes. Sure. Right? Wait, do you who would you want to be? The girl at home being che cheated on because she's so good, but then she don't satisfy her man. Uh -huh. You want to know if you. I was a girl who I would pick? I'd mm -hmm. pick the girl at home that can't satisfy my se man sexually. You want to know why? Because I have the relationship, I have the ring, I have the house, I have the last name, I have the kids. <laughs> That's no what I have. Which one are you? You're the side chick. Yep. It don't matter because yep. I could make my what? own. Hey, hey, that, hey, that's what it is. You decide, bitch. You are never the main character. Sorry, bitch. I'm just keeping it real. You're not the main character. But at the same time, you know, fresh and fit, y'all got exposed to for messing with a uh an, an escort, and I did my own time, and I I looked it up on YouTube, and it's basically another pro uh, another form of lust prostitution. It's basically the same thing, like a hooker, a uh prostitute. Just in case y'all don't know. And I, even I didn't know, like, what is an escort? Now I know what that is. And I do not promote that. So we, we ain't doing none of that over here. And yeah, fresh to simple. Money. I'm sorry. I could get all that, that your uh -huh. woman at home can't satisfy you, and she's still a fucking whore because she, she don't have a source of yeah, income. She has a title. She's a good girl, but she's still depending <laughs> she on you. A, she hey, that's not a whore. She, she don't whore. work. She doesn't need to work. work. She's a wife. Will beats head. Okay, exactly. but who's the bigger yes, whore? Sir. The girl that makes $200,000 a year that's a dancer or mm -hmm. works uh, is on OnlyFans? Or the girl that is a virgin but doesn't have a job. No, who's the broker? Whore? Who, who's the bigger whore? We both whores. <laughs> nah, nah. Person that sells their body just to make money, that's a whore. Any female that sells their body doing any kind of lust activity that's taking their clothes off to get money, don't matter if they're dancers, they're still hoeing around. He's still a whore. I don't want to hear. Oh, some strippers they don't they don't be. Some of them don't spread their legs. Some of them just this one. No. Why would you? Why would you? And some of them like to have the nerve to say they have boyfriends. I would never have a girlfriend knowing that she's at a strip club. You a hoe. You a hoe. I don't want no female that have an OnlyFans that's doing prawn, any form of lust activity. I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want no female that that has a bad reputation about us of being a whore because that bad reputation is not a good look on a dude that's dating her and it can also affect your career and that's just disgusting you know everybody know what she looks like underneath you're not the only one that knows what she looks like she's literally for everybody that's the truth it's about morals it's really about having your morals my mom said this to me and it stuck she said that a woman who can be bought isn't worth having. Yep. But a woman who asks for nothing 
but gives all, that woman deserves everything. The word, do you Damn want to right. Not today, if that's what you're asking. No, but I like have, eventually. Oh, yeah, I thought you were asking me. No, I have, um, I would like to get married. <laughs> yes. Do you believe in God? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I believe that women are to create and men are just to destroy. If that's the case, then why have women initiated 70 to 80 percent of the divorces and destroyed the nuclear family? Moreover, yes. everything that you're seeing, touching, and hearing from all was created by men. Men have a natural proclivity to create. That's a tendency. We want to go out there and create because men have a natural propensity. I mean, and to be honest with you, God created a man first, the first human that was a man. So what does that tell you? As in our nature to compete. So we have a natural propensity to compete with other men, which means that we have a natural proclivity, a tendency to keep on creating things. And generally speaking, women don't have a natural tendency to keep on creating. This is why women are so attracted to feminism because feminism promotes equality, not competition. It's two different things. So either way you look at this, you're wrong. Bull piercings is always the dead giveaway always you see feminism is an agenda that is set out to divide and destroy us now i want you guys to listen to this man's prediction in 1965 by paul harvey if i were the devil now tell me it's not what we're seeing today it's creepy but he did a radio piece on on how to destroy america the social fabric of it oh, wow. and it's and it's as though somebody just took uh america the, the social fabric of america from the late 60s to today and and the timeline of the things that he said it's pretty wicked it's pretty wow powerful. i'm not shocked <laughs> yes, sir. paul harvey if i were the devil is this the thing yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay if i were the devil if I were the okay. prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four. I'm not trying to hear all that. I really ain't. I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear all that extra shit. Today, it's okay for a man to be a woman, a woman to That's be a man. That's disgusting. Nope. Nah, that, no, it's not. That's disgusting. That's feminism. That's nasty. That's disgusting. That's ooh, that's nasty. Nah, that's not cool, bro. Stay in your lane. God made you to be a certain type of gender. Stay there. Real talk. I'm made to be a man. I'm going to stay that way. That's what God want me to be like. That's what God made me. That's what I'm going to be. And that's disgusting. I don't. We don't do that over here. We don't mess with none of that stuff. Opposite, the opposite do attract. We don't do none of that because at the end of the day, if you're not born a man, you will never be a man, no matter how hard you try. No matter how many times you deepen your voice, none of that. And if vice versa, a female, a man trying to be a woman. You will never be a woman. I don't care how mad you get. You will never be a woman. You will never, ever be a woman. Never. No matter how many times you try to shave your legs, you trying to uh, talk high pitch, you need to grow some balls and actually, you know, take accountability because ain't nobody want to see no man, no them pink, purple leggings acting all weird and shit. But ain't no woman. Ain't nobody want to see that. And it's okay for a female to be promiscuous. My body, my choice. Creep gobblers. Ladies, men don't want your. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You slept with 164 guys only to gain experience and learn how to satisfy your future husband. But he hates women with high body. Damn, bro. Sorry. Why would you sleep with over a hundred dudes just to gain experience for what? Gain experience to learn how to satisfy your future. How about you meet? How about you work on yourself 
and you find the guy that you're looking for, and then y'all two can link up, and then y'all can practice that instead of practicing that with a hundred and something dudes that you're not going. That don't make any sense. See. You know, I always knew as a kid, I, I I don't want a female that's been sleeping around with a whole bunch of dudes. And I was right. And I'm glad other people see that. Like, that's weird to have a, a disgusting one individual that's a female that has a high body count. It used to be called Thought Record. It used to be called Thought Record. Now it's called Body Count. You see how that shit changed in every generation? Like, no, nobody wants no female with a high thought record. No. Nah. That's not getting experience. That's just being a hoe. And you never took the time to actually learn how to be an actual real woman. You just been sleeping around. I'm sorry. Your body count, like, you losing value. That's that's a lot of value being lost. That's You've been holding around, and then when you find the right guy, you ain't going to know how to treat him. That don't make any sense. You didn't work on yourself like that. You didn't maintain whatever value you had before you, you know, open your legs. Like, I'm sorry. Just, you can't take, undo what's already been done. That's weird. Experience. And women don't gain that much experience anyways. When really men don't. are doing most of the work. Yep. Men value purity, not a toilet. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves. Dude, I'm going to be real. I'm not trying to hear this. Like, I ain't trying to hear this, my boy. I'm just trying to, like... Oh, hold on. My fault. Man. A lot of women well, feel themselves in Tashi. I love you. I know. Challengers. There's something called opposites of polarity we see satan in plain sight so if he yeah. exists that means god must exist when you truly understand the level of evil in the world today then you must understand the only equal and opposite force can be god another thing i've argued with atheists about they don't understand that even god as a concept even just as a concept in and of himself becomes a real thing if you have a thousand people and those thousand people believe in a god even if there's no man in the sky, but those thousand people believing that God makes them act righteously, but even as a concept in and of itself, God is a real force. God, the idea as a force, is making the people act righteously. So God must exist in some form. I understood that the thing that made me stop being an atheist is simply the amount of evil that's all around me. I was like, if this much evil, if, 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 the, if Satan is going to appear, <laughs> if Satan appears in front of you, you're going to have to say, okay, well then God must be real. Who would attempt to destroy the baseline morality that was God-given? Satan. So if Satan is trying to destroy our morality, then God must be real. So equal and opposite forces, Newton's law proved God. And if you guys just pay attention to what's everything that's going on around you, we need God more than ever. Because when there's- Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yes, we do. Glad you mentioned that, buddy. Yes, the fuck we do. I'm glad I realized that a couple of years ago back. Like, I swear, I swear, swear to God. I'm glad I realized that years, a couple of years ago back. You cannot get shit done without God. You cannot have a good day without God. And, and without those rainy days, without those traumas, like, that shit is there to teach you a lesson to learn shit from. You are never going to grow as a person if you don't go through the bad days. The bad things that happen to you is for that. It's it's literally there to have you experience how the world actually is and how a lot of people like that are. It's there to really show you 
and open your eyes how people are. Like you really got to take every bad experiences as actually a blessing. It's a life lesson. It helps you to grow up and mature. Even when people did me dirty, it really taught me a life lesson. You you got to look at it in a positive perspective. Even though people shouldn't do bad things to you, even when people do, note that and experience, like use, take that as your experience. And when you find out about some people, certain people doing you dirty, cut them off, pray to God. Like, I'm just saying, like, I ain't trying to like, you know, tell anybody what to do. I'm just saying, like, you really do need to pray to God because at the end of the day, God care about me more than anybody else. At the end of the day, God cares about you more than your own family ever will. Because that family can turn on you at any time. Friends can turn on you at any time. The only person that really care about you is you and God. That's just the truth. There's God, there is morals and traditional core values. But when we abandon our traditional core values, we will start to see society yep. fall apart. Yep. I'm 31. I don't have any kids. I got a credit score of 803, exact, recently pulled. I have two okay. paid off cars. I'm about to close okay. on my first house this year in okay. May. I'm not toxic okay. at all. I got a big booty. Right. I'm releasing Nobody an cares app about on that. iOS and Android. She laughed. I work hard as fuck. I'm not That's clean, good. Work that but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so oh, I don't cook, on World Star. but I can. I can learn. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels, I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. Nah, you ain't dom you ain't dominant me. I'm five eight I'm in my somewhere. head, but five four on paper. I've never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Like, what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries, though. And I don't let people fuck me over. I'm going to say more than three times because I give chances. I even. No, I don't let nobody mess me over the second time. The first time you ain't going to know what's hitting you. But the second time it's on you. If you're going to keep letting people messing you over, that's just me. Chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. Actually, I, I, let me take that back. When they messed me over the first time, that's it. It ain't no second time. Nah, the first time, that's it. The second time, if I allow you to do that shit again, that's she my fault. She struggles in dating simply because feminism has lied to her. She's not a woman. She's a man. You see what happens when we throw away traditional core values and as yeah. a result of it, lots of miserable and unhappy people. Yes, sir. Now, I want to play you guys this next clip because it has a very powerful message. I don't care about fuck kills. My stats are assist, spotting. That's what a recon's all about. Get that through your heads and then you'll understand. If you think it's all about kills, it's all about yourself. Lucky snipes? I don't believe in luck. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Um, that's it for this reaction video. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, catch you guys in the next one.